Man, I'm not sure why we put these in upside down. But it's a winter wonderland. <laughs> hey, that's a North Carolina snowmobile. Yeah. Charles, you ready, buddy? I hope so. We're having a snow day here at Cars and Cameras. It doesn't snow every year here in North Carolina, but it just did. So we thought, why not revive our snowmobile powered go-kart? This is our Murray Kilowatt. It's been on the channel since near the beginning. It started life with a Tecumseh six and a half horse. Of course, that wasn't enough. So we swapped on a Predator 420. That was a pretty decent power plant. It was really torquey. Yeah. But we had a subscriber gift us this Kawasaki 440cc two-stroke off of an old snowmobile. It was really fast. I flipped it and it's been sitting for a few years, but now it's time to bring it back, give it some upgrades, and take it for a good old rip while it's a winter wonderland out there. So the sprocket. The sprocket right is here. whacking the, so this, yeah. the blower housing. So let me jump on it and you really? Yeah. So apparently there's an interesting problem I failed to know about. The uh go ahead, Jeff. Oh. So hold on, I can't really see it from no, here. I don't, I don't want to do it too hard. No, it's not hitting the carburetor, dog. Yes, it is. Dude, I'm no, it's. At it. I'm looking at it. It is not. Hitting is it? Hit, it's hitting both. So we're both <laughs> right. Okay, <laughs> look. I'm gonna just ease on it. Look right here. Oh, it is whacking the carburetor. Yeah. Yeah. But there's also a dent on the bottom of the pull. Oh. Pull yeah. Oh. So we both get to go ring the bell. Well. So, yep. You know what? It'll be fine. Let's just uh, add some slightly longer rear shocks a little, with a little stiffer. It's going to solve all our problems. Exactly. And yeah. only jump it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Okay, so what you just saw there is the carburetor bowl and blower housing simultaneously acting as our bump stops on this project. And that's no good because this thing was fine in my parents' backyard, but out here at the new uh, Grand Prix, we have a lot bigger bumps, so we're probably gonna be damaging our equipment. So we're gonna be using some parts from gopowersports.com. Uh, we're upgrading from their black shocks to their red heavy-duty stiffer shocks, and it'll raise the back a little bit, uh, but it'll be stiffer, and hopefully we won't have that issue anymore. We're also gonna be using some of their uh, rear wheels and tires. We have brand new wheels, brand new tires, nice new tread help us get around in the snow as well so if you want to check out these parts that we're using from go power sports uh, you can see them at a link in the description of this episode and of course anytime you place an order with them let them know that the guys at cars and cameras sent you uh, we're swapping over the front tires as well for something with a little bit more tread and grip so this tread right here is my favorite aggressive tread for handling yes like it's Honestly, because of these tires is why the yard dart is so stinking fast. Yes. So, yep. if you want to check those out, link in the description. Also, go Power Sports. I, I got a mini bike that's going to get a set of these because those other tires, they just, they don't work. Hey. Whoops. All right. So, we're just going to go up here. Right there. All right. Okay, there we go. Coming down. Yep. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right. Man, I'm not sure why we put these in upside down, but I'm sure there's a reason. Whew. All right. So uh, these new ones are definitely taller and the springs look like they're gonna to be tougher. So that's They're exactly, definitely tougher, yeah. Exactly what we need. I remember when we were building the Bronco, we did like a shock shootout, and the red ones are, those are HD. Okay, cool. Gotta wait for Charles to get his uh, out to lower that thing. Since this one was hitting last time, I'm gonna uh -huh. put it, I'm gonna put it that way. It's a good idea. And we're gonna cut spacers to go here so the tire can't walk this way. I don't know if that side's gonna have the same it's mark, but this one's already got a mark. I'm putting it back where it was. Oh, the where the old hub was, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that too. I'm gonna offset the uh, Q 
keyway on the collar so the key can't slip out the back. All right, the hub is up against the collar. Nice. Now I can back this out and put a second key in there. All right, so I've got some two stroke fuel here. I went with a 40 to one mix. You went ahead and put the oil in the gas jug before we filled it with gas. Yeah. So anybody out there worried how we mixed it, hopefully we did it right. Well, but I know we did something wrong. This is a gallon jug. Holy moly, those shocks are way stiffer. I can't. I mean, I'm actually. That work. I'm trying now. They're on the soft setting, too. Yeah. They're on the soft setting, yeah. So. It should be okay. I think it's perfect. Dialed with a capital D. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, I guess we'll try cranking it up in here. Yeah. All right. Ignition is on, sir. All right. Uh, choke. I got the choke on. Oh, choke's on. Yep. All right. So, ready? Yep. I'm pulling you backwards. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> yeah. A winter wonderland so it's not running quite right but it seems to have some life in it so we're gonna we're gonna send it see if it clears up yeah all right i'm hooked up all right ready yeah man you on the brakes all right choke, the choke is on you want it off yeah take it off choke me <laughs> hey, that's a North Carolina thing is a major tipping uh, hazard yeah I can feel it <laughs> I get to see it like you're picking up a front tire all the time yeah I, I've got a fuel delivery problem so let's let's try the thing with the choke off again okay. um that was choke on the whole time yeah wow yeah, yeah that's why I was like trying to single him but he was he thought I was saying go Bo go <laughs> I was like, no. you weren't saying go go <laughs> have you seen that meme it's like when your dog's running away from you, but he thinks you're playing a game or something yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> That's exactly what the dog is. Alright, so, choke off. Alright, well, I'm gonna start it with the choke off. Okay. On. Well, maybe not. Choke on. So this thing's feeling pretty fast. So we're gonna t check the top speed run on this thing uh, as comfortably as I feel. It's a little squirrely out there. And then I'm thinking that we can take this thing on some uh, 
Grand Prix laps, snow day, and uh, I think we're gonna get on the top 10 board. Even in the snow? Even in the snow, this thing's awesome. Wow, yes. so how fast do you think it's gonna go? <sighs> 42. I think it'll go faster, but I think this is only as comfortable as I feel. <laughs> All right. Yeah? All right, crank me up, boss. Yes, sir. One right. pull. Sweet, one pull. It looked gonna, pretty fast. I'm gonna say 40. 40? Yeah. I mean, we're riding on ice, man. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Thing's squirrely. 39.8. Nice, dude. Yeah. Dialed. It it uh, it's got way more in it, but it's just so scary on this ice. So 40 miles per hour on the ice, that's pretty good. Yeah. And that's a good speed for our track as well. Yeah. So uh, we do have some belt slip. My guess is uh, our, maybe our gearing might be just a little bit too tall, uh, or we've got a really old belt that might need replacing. Okay. Uh, also, maybe the engagement is a little bit too soon. Maybe the weights and the uh, drive pulley are a little bit too heavy. Maybe right. we can go with some lighter ones to... Yeah, that won't be too bad. Yeah, so... Uh, this thing's fast. I know we can get it better. It's already fast and with a bunch of tuning, it could probably be way faster. Wicked fast. So we're about to all do some hot laps to get a baseline on the two-stroke Murray. Uh, and we've been talking, and this is gonna turn into a big build. We're gonna do new front suspension on it. We're gonna try to build custom front brakes. We might be adding a whole new rear suspension for it. Uh, and what else? Gearing. Gearing. Gearing is a big problem, especially right now. It's a geared way too tall, and we think that that's probably why the belt slips some uh, while we're out uh, ripping it in the snow. Yeah, but it's good now, but all these changes gonna are going to make, make it, it like better. incredible. Yeah. So we're all going to hop on and do some hot laps to get, again, a baseline, our before test. And then after we do our, all our upgrades, we're going to have uh, another uh, test where we have our after. Uh, but right now, we're all gonna hop on and see what the Murray is gonna lay down on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Top 10, baby! <laughs> does, does that count? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can tell attraction is low. Yeah. A lot of drifting. A lot of spinning. Oh, is there a snowmobile on your property? Or oh wait, never mind. It's just a a kilowatt. This is not a good run.
Why does it look so much slower now? Oh. The belt is slipping so bad. Same time. Are you serious? Yeah. Something sounds worse in there. bottom of the hill when I hit that and I made that corner all of a sudden it just uh, it almost stopped and it's just like Aah! so we just got really bad belt slippage we got horrible belt slippage I, this thing was so fast earlier today yeah yeah well. what you gonna do and uh, you know I think that the uh, belt is cooked the gearing is tall enough that it's just cooking the belt. So we really need to like a, maybe Overhaul. a 72 sprocket or something. Yeah. So we have a few issues going on at the same time with the kilowatt here that's contributing to just it being really, really slow. One, the belt is old and probably cooked. Two, uh, our gearing is way too tall. It was geared fine for a governed 420, but this is turning probably twice the RPM or more, and it's just not meant to handle that kind of uh, RPM with current gearing. Uh, third, we need different weights in the driver pulley, some that are going to fling out and engage at a higher RPM, so lighter weights. So we have a lot going on in the drive line that is contributing to the fact that it now has absolutely zero power. We think that we had a little bit of belt left in the beginning of the day and just now it's gone. So Charles is gonna hop on it and Ike is gonna have a look at our gearing situation and, and have a physical look at the belt and try to figure out what exactly is going on just to get a better picture. Charles, you ready, buddy? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Charles is going for a hot lap anyway. probably solve all our problems but over time it's probably going to cook the belt again right oh man it's pretty thick. oh the brake's stuck oh there we go yeah because this morning it seemed like it was like just wanting to do oh, something going. yeah It's uh, it's mushy. Yeah. But that was fun. Sweet. Goodness gracious. Oh yeah, you ain't kidding about the brake sticking. Yeah. But like it didn't just stick, look. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It went under the frame. Yeah, it'll do that. We gotta fix That's it why up. I stopped at the bottom of the hill. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so a 104 is gonna get us on the board with this Murray kilowatt. Um, you remember my time? Oh yeah. Okay, I remember your time. So. When we tell each other's times, then we're going to know how far off we are from getting on the leaderboard. And how much work we have to do. Yeah. So, 
judging by your time, I want to say you're faster than me. No. And uh, we got a long ways to go to get on this leaderboard. You ready? Okay. All right. Yeah. So when I go one, two, three. All right. Okay. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Three. Two. I told you. One, two, three. Seven. Three. Yeah. Okay. Well, today's episode went from up here to down here. But uh, hopefully all we need to do is re-gear it and throw a new belt on it and we'll be good to go. But I still think we should go ahead with our grand plans of completely overhauling this Murray Kilowatt. It's an awesome chassis and adult fits very well in it. And it's still a good size, enough to where with a powerful engine, it can probably easy do top 10, top 5 on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Definitely. So we're going to call up Go Power Sports uh, and get, some, get an order going with them, uh, maybe for a new belt. Uh, new front end parts and we can start this build so subscribe to cars and cameras to catch that leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the two-stroke content and we'll catch you next time here catch <laughs> all right gotta make it fair gotta give the end I, I, <laughs> 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 that was left-handed buddy <laughs> not the dually not the dually <laughs> Look what you did to that Miata! Throwing a snowball at it! Oh my god, you totaled my Miata! <laughs>